quatro, 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 quatro. John Larkin, born John Larkin Smith, November 25, 1877, March 18, 1936, was an American stage and screen performer, as well as songwriter, whose acting career extended nearly four decades, from the late 1890s through his last acting roles in the five films released the year of his death. A scrapbook preserved at Atlanta's Emory University indicates that he was billed as the Raja of Mirth, and the funniest colored comedian in the world. Larkin was seen in minstrel shows, vaudeville and, during his final six years, at the start of the sound film era, in major Hollywood studio productions, accumulating nearly 50 film credits between 1930 and 1936. Over half of his film appearances were uncredited and, stable with casting mores prevalent during the era, his roles consisted of shoeshine men, servants, porters, janitors, stable hands and slaves. He was, however, continually employed, averaging from 6 to 11 films per year. A story in a 1933 issue of the Los Angeles-based African-American newspaper, California Eagle, stated that he is reported to be the highest paid Negro actor in Hollywood. As America entered World War I in 1917, Larkin, at the age of 40, assumed the leadership of the long-established touring group Dandy Dixie Minstrels which had performed, on a number of earlier occasions, with the Black Paddy Players. In the wake of the Wall Street crash of 1929, acting companies struggled to survive and, while touring in Southern California during 1930, Larkin, now in his early 50s, was cast in his first film, Man to Man, released by Warner Brothers on December 6, 1930. Larkin was given few opportunities to display his skills as singer, dancer or as a comedian and was employed for the most part as a character actor. In a March 1933 issue of California Eagle in conjunction with the release of MGM's Gabriel over the White House, one of the eight features in which Larkin had parts that year. Although his role as Sebastian, the president's valet was uncredited, the Eagle ran a story. Hollywood respects Larkin as real star of the film, alongside a photograph with a caption, High Pay Man, stating that he was earning a greater salary than any other black performer in film. Between 1931 and his death in March 1936, Larkin appeared in at least 45 films for nearly every studio in Hollywood which, in addition to Warner's and MGM, included AKO and Republic. John Larkin died in Los Angeles from a cerebral hemorrhage. The first of the 1936 productions in which he was featured, The Trail of the Lonesome Pine, premiered on March 13, five days before his death, while four others, The Great Ziegfeld, Frankie and Johnny, which was filmed in 1934, Hearts Divided and The Green Pastures, were released posthumously. Larkin's tombstone is at Los Angeles Evergreen Cemetery which, unlike most other cemeteries, permitted the burial of African Americans.